All right. Let's see. And then I think we'll do like a, a spiraling staircase from this spot and have people be able to walk up with the gorillas. And hopefully the gorillas won't like jump onto the path, but I think it should be all right. All right let's move this. And let's move some of these down here. All right. <laughs> Prepare for guests walking through walls. Uh, we'll have to see if they walk through walls. And I did have the snap along barrier section. We'll play a little bit more with this and like fill in the gaps. But I, this is one of the things I wanted to do was make it so that more people could get around faster. There, look at him go. Come forth, my friends. All right, Moonstone's about to mature. I'm going to speed things up a little bit whilst we wait for that. All right, Moonstone has matured. We'll go ahead and move her to the Trade Center. Quartz has matured. We'll move him to the Trade Center. That's so exciting. And then Pokey, the Puff Adder, has had offspring. All right, so this is gonna be a little surreal. <gasps> Slow it down! I knew we needed to speed up because the nature of like what we do here in this facility means that we need to get those gorilla babies grown up. But you guys, Onyx! Onyx! It's Onyx! Oh boy. Oh handsome boy. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you so much. I want to take a few more pictures of him really quickly, just to remember the amazing father of so many of our tiger cubs. Oh, you good boy, you good boy. Oh, it breaks my heart when they pass away. 15 years. He lived 15 years. That's what I like to see, a happy, healthy Bengal tiger. Okay, people can actually see them and they are enjoying them. Oh, I am gonna miss him so much. Gosh, rest in peace, Onyx. And don't worry, I don't think Periot's dead. She's just sleeping enough that it's gonna give me a bit of a heart attack, but mom's fine. He lived a long and great life. He had so many fantastic babies. So I think that was totally worth it. All right. Whew. Why are protesters at the zoo? Because of the snakes again. Okay, well, we'll take care of that whilst we wait for the gorilla babies to grow up. There's just a lot. If you, what do you guys think we should focus on if we're trying really hard to get the gorillas taken care of? but we have so much going on at the same time. I think I'm just gonna have to be more diligent about focusing on the gorillas. Like really like we're doing this. Wait, what? Achievement unlocked ghost? <gasps> I just had my first albino baby and it's a snake. <laughs> you guys, we have a, a little albino snake right now. Look at her. Oh my gosh! Space Torino, hey, how are you tonight? We just had our first albino baby born! That's so cool! What should we name her? We need to put her in a new dry dry desert. Like, that's so cool because I think you can actually end up breeding the, uh, the animals to become albino. And I feel like that's a pretty harmless thing to do with, uh, with the snakes, so I'd be happy to do that. But let's go ahead and get another dry, dry desert, because why not? People seem to be enjoying it well enough. Um, and we'll move her, we'll move this dry, dry desert over here, maybe. Somewhere, it'd be a little funny to have next to all of these other exhibits. But I mean, why the heck not? We've already got a bazillion donation boxes over here. And she's kind of like a little treasure herself, isn't she? Let's see, Slytherin, <gasps> Antarctica. Oh my gosh, Luca. I love that. I think we should name her Antarctica because so many of her family members are named after deserts. I think that would be a hilarious name. So I, I vote for Antarctica, guys. I think that that's actually a perfectly acceptable, kind of funny, like play on all of the other names that we have. 
So we're gonna give her a little home over here. Our very first albino animal. What? That is so cool. We'll have a little educational speaker just about her. Right down here. Like, this is gonna be so cool. About puff adders. And we're gonna name this Dry Dry Desert the Third. There we go. Let's get it into a work zone so we don't forget. And while I'm in here, get in there, Sylvia. Oh, wait, you're already in the trade center. While we're in here. All right, out you go. Shoo, 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 shoo. All right. And then let's come over. And where is she? Look at, oh, it's a him. It's a him. So what do you guys think? Slytherin for a male and then we'll save Antarctica for a female albino puff adder because I think that would be really cool. Queen Boo. I think Antarctica. I, let's go with Slytherin. I want to name... Oh, King Boo! Oh, gosh. King Boo would be a good name, too. Okay. I like King Boo for the male. I really do. I really do. Oh, because it's named after Dry Dry Desert. Okay, this is going to be King Boo. Sorry, guys. You all had such amazing names. King Boo. There we go. Oh, hey! Astilis! Welcome! Thank you so much for joining us. We'll get your eggs safely in the nest. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. I know, Vanilla is a good name too. Just, this is going to be perfect because we're kind of doing like a Nintendo. We're definitely going to be adding to it. Uh, we need to make this a better habitat climate-wise for him. So we'll see how that works out in just a minute here. And this, did we rename it Dry Dry Desert the Third? There we go. So we have the third dry dry desert uh, and we need to get him a mate. So let's see if there's a healthy female puff adder who's not related to him in just a second. Let's take all of, there's Gobi. We want to keep Gobi. Sahara we're keeping. Oh my gosh, our puff adders have been very, very busy having a lot of babies. I'm kind of stunned. I didn't realize that they would have so many. Holy cow. <gasps> they breed so fast and their babies sell for a thousand each. That is much better than cockroaches. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, Sahara, you weren't supposed to get in here. Let me make sure I didn't accidentally pick up. Okay. And I'll keep one of the silver starred females just in case we don't find a better female. Puff adders. Who knew? You really want to have puff adders, friends. Not in your socks or shoes or closet, mind you, but in your exhibits. All right, I accidentally took her out of the wrong exhibit. She needs to come in here. There we go. And then you need to actually go to the trade center. All right, why are these guys unhappy? The cleanliness is really bad again. Do I need new zookeepers? There's a lot of little things you gotta take care of when it comes to your zoo. No, my zookeepers over here should be okay. Hey, Kevin, where are you? You're over the moon with your job and heading to the staff room? Well, we kinda need somebody to come and take care of Dry Dry Desert Place. Do I have a zookeeper on the way? I do. Okay, Juliana, I mean, I think they're on it. Wait, you found a snake in your bread? What? <laughs> I love the Nintendo theme. It's just so cool. Everybody loves snakes. So hopefully we'll have like really cool donation boxes now. All right. Come on, little donation box. We'll put you over here. Hopefully people will donate to our snake. Everybody's coming to see our snake. Good choice, friends. I probably have enough donation boxes randomly scattered. <laughs> Back and forth, back and forth over here. Uh, I'll move this one a little closer, just in case. Just in case you need to learn more about our snake. And then let's see if we can actually find him. Here, this female is actually gold. She might be related to him, though. Do, have you guys noticed if there is a effect if you have the exhibit animals breeding together and they're related? Have you seen anything about that? Okay, and you're right, we should put a little exhibit sign out front. Okay, little exhibit education board that people can come and read. Come and learn about our wonderful puff adders. 
Oh, people really like him. This is so cool. I I love the snakes. There we go. All right, come here, come here, come here. All right, a VIP guest has arrived. I know my paths are chaotic. This is well, this is really fun because I actually like to do paths like these and then fill it with plants is what I normally have. I just haven't had time to like come in here and bother filling it in because it's been so freaking busy. I do want to get some aloe vera down now that I'm thinking about it though. Oh, lovely. See, we should spend some time adding plants whilst we wait for the gorillas to be born. So we'll probably work on that a little bit. They can still breed, inbreed unhealthy babies. Thank you, M. Hansen. So we will not have him breed with his sister. <laughs> I'm a little relieved about that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sell these two then. Wow, I had no idea puff outers would result in such amazing babies. And then let's see if we can find puff adder, puff adder, golden tree frogs, goliath bird eater. I have a, a spider who actually needs a mate, I just remembered. All right, let's get him this older mate. And we'll name her Slytherin. We'll go ahead and name this new mate that we just got for him Slytherin. Even though it doesn't quite go with the Nintendo theme, because I really like that idea. All right. There we go. All right, and how's their exhibit? We need to make it much cooler. There we go. Yeah, I know, right? When you add in plants, it fixes any of the weird looking paths so quickly. All right, there we go. So now our very first albino animal is taken care of. Our pangolins, we just have way too many of. <gasps> this one is a really, really good pangolin. Oh gosh, look at all these pangolins. Ping pong. <laughs> okay, ping pongolin is the only one I really want to be having babies right now. Um, okay, low welfare. Is it just because she's thirsty? She's really stressed. Oh, oh, you guys, it's because of the people. What am I doing? Of course, the pangolins hate being seen by people and they become so content and happy. All you have to do is come in here and put down the one way glass so that they cannot be, they can, they cannot see the people. I, I swear this will make our pangolins so much less stressed. They will be so much happier. What it is, is they just get so anxious when they see people. There's a little rainbow. That's so cute. I can't believe I haven't done that for them yet. Okay, that should definitely help her feel a lot better once she can kind of get in there and realize like, oh, I'm okay. Nobody can see me. The social group's a little high. Hang in there, sweetie. There we go. There we go. All right. Pangolins are so cute. You get, you are right. They are way, way too cute for us. All right. So how's the gorillas doing? Because I'm going to be honest, the tigers kind of are like, when it comes to breeding, you have matured, little one. You are also very healthy. Bringing in that new male was a good idea. And now we have offspring. We're gonna, we might need to handle the pangolin problem for sure. All right. How are our gorillas though? Hey, Princess Pauline. There's the babies. We'll get some more food. There's Princess Peach. She's already a year old. I can't believe that. That is so amazing. Oh, hey. There's another user here, Zapsplat. Hello, friend. Nice to see you. I'm glad you're enjoying the tigers. All right, other than the high amounts of litter, I think everything's good. So I'm gonna come down and we're gonna work on a path to come up and look at our gorillas because I really want people to be able to like see them from higher up and kind of like walk through their treetops a little bit. But, oops, I know it's wrong. We're snapping to grid. <laughs> I know, right? A whole year has passed since you ate dinner, Swan Feather. Oh my gosh. Time flies so quickly when you're having fun. But there we go. Can I do this? Obstructed? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna see if we can get really on ground pairs, curved slopes. Hey, Dandy Tulips, welcome. Welcome to our adventures. We're about to have a treetop tour 
walking through so you can see the gorillas, which I think would be really fun. And hopefully it won't bother the gorillas too much. And I wonder if the people will walk through the trees or not. But I really wanted to do a couple of these so you could kind of come and climb up with the gorillas. Because that sounded really awesome. All right, the inspector has just left. Maybe we finally have a report where we like totally didn't suck. <laughs> that would be really nice. Obstructed, huh? All right, there we go. But this should be fun. I actually want to have like a little food spot. Hey, banana fart, welcome. I was literally about to say I want to have a little food spot where we could actually have people come and eat some banana smoothies to celebrate the fact that we're in with the gorillas. So we're going to speed things up again now that everything has kind of gotten a little calmer and more peaceful. There's just so many little things that you have to watch out for and take care of. Mechanic research is complete. Okay. Awesome. Oh, the Asian theme research is done. Cool. Uh, I don't know if we need so many mechanics, but let's actually have them research the power. That would do good. There we go. Oh, just the cubs playing, making it think that they're escaped. Oh, Princess Rosalina! Yeah, Princess Rosalina would be really good. All right, hopefully the gorillas will be happy with this. Okay, vet research. Okay, we finally learned some more about the gorillas. Let's see if we can get them some new toys. And then I want to make another spot where you can come up and look at them and see if people enjoy that as well. And then I think I want to try to work tonight before we wrap up on making like a cool crate that you can actually, uh, oh, look at all the people here. I'm making like a cool crate barrel thing. So we actually have, oh, Princess Paulina is expecting offspring again. Yes, she must have pounded the ground and did kissy face over at Donkey Kong. So she is expecting another baby. That is so exciting. I don't know if the gorillas will climb the trees and then jump on the bridge. We're gonna find out. I'm kind of curious if that could happen or not. Let's see, we can actually check. Believe it or not, we can actually check that by coming over. Okay, let's get this tamarind tree back down over here. And then I'll move this tree. No, 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 I wanna move this tree. Just a teensy bit, so it's not on the path anymore. Like so. And then we can move this tree over a little bit. But you can actually check to see if your animals would have spots where they could escape by coming in here, going to animal welfare, selecting the animal in question, pretty sure. And then going to habitat, it's actually habitat. All right, so you can see where they could climb. There's no escape points here, though, so we're good. Yay! And actually, what I like to do, Smuggle Daggle, when it comes to these walkways, uh, and I'll do it in just a second. And, I mean, I guess I could come back over. Oh, we have little hanging baskets I could hang from under the walkway. That would be really cool. Usually, I like to put the climbing, uh, like the climbing fence pieces, or like the climbing pieces for the animals under this walkway and it makes a really cool effect so that you can just enjoy a more naturalistic look but it might be worth it to have the path supports yeah these actually have a naturalistic look so we'll come in and put down a few of them and maybe one over here yeah that looks a lot better Thank you, Smaggle Daggle. Sometimes I don't like the look of the past supports, and sometimes I do. And this is this is one of the cases where they look really good. So good call on that. All right, we have a baby. We have a baby on the way. I'm so excited. Let's move this over here. Actually, people were donating a lot in there. They're donating a lot in here. Not donating anything in here. So let's move this one up and see if people will donate. All right, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the Nintendo Zoo idea too. We'll definitely be working more with it when we get a chance. Let's see if we get any more gorilla babies while I try to get a little bit more... A few more spots where people can kind of look at the gorillas. Slither and the Puff Adder is expecting offspring! She might end up having... And that would be very exciting because she might end up having another albino Puff Adder. I can't believe we had an albino Puff Adder today. Like, that was unexpectedly amazing. Alright, is that enough to go up and over? It is... And then I kind of just want this to be like a fun... Okay, too big, too big. Let's go ahead and shrink this down. Albino babies! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, if it's a girl name at Hufflepuff, I think that that would be an adorable name. All right, give me just a second. We're going to try making another little path that people can come and look at the gorillas. Does it need to be higher? Okay. Have to start raising it a little earlier than that. Stairs up. Up. This will be climbing up to the treetops to visit with the gorillas. And there we go. And then we'll do a path. <gasps> Amber is pregnant? Again? Pardon? <laughs> you guys, Amber's about to have offspring. What? Did you guys notice our tiger get pregnant? Because that kind of slipped by me. Hey, Skipper the Macaw, welcome to our adventures. We're about to have tiger babies. How many tiger babies? Okay, hang on, guys. We're gonna have to take guesses for how many tiger babies we think we're gonna have again. But let me get this path finished because I'm really curious to see where people will want to go here. Here, let's actually have people come on down and then it's like, boom. Guess what, friends? Now you're gonna be in tiger country. Uh, having the paths curve is so weird sometimes, but there we have it. All right, three, four, two. Oh, geez, she's just next to a giant pile of bones and gizzards. That's fine. Amber? Oh, it's because she those bones and gizzards came from her zebra pinata, I see. <laughs> what? I didn't even know you were pregnant, dear. Are you still in here with Ash? She is still in here with Ash. She's getting a little drink by the moonlight. <gasps> okay, we've got it. Oh, look at that. You can't even really see her. But you can see the outline of her. Drinking by her pool in the moonlight. How amazing is that? I love it. Here we go. Alania. Alania is a beautiful name. And we actually have Ash. I actually think Amber's mate is named Ash. Let me double check. Yep, Amber's mate is actually already named Ash. Hey, Peter, welcome. Okay, here we go, guys. Three, two, one, how many? How many? <laughs> a soap name, opera name for the spider exhibit. 50 shades of legs. I love it. I need to add in that spider. All right, here we go. One, we have at least one. We have two. <gasps> we have twins. They look a little bit like conjoined twins for like two shakes of a kitten tail there. That was a little bit alarming. <gasps> oh, hey, welcome the dangerous Des. Welcome, welcome. Holy cow, there we go. Your egg is in with the nest. I'm so happy that you're able to join our adventures just as we had these two little ones born. Let's take a look at our new cubs. <gasps> a gold male and a silver female. All right, a lot of you guys have been saying Alania for a long time, so we'll go ahead and give her that name. So what should we call the little boy? Child of Ash and Amber. Tiki? Oh, that's a cute name. Growlithe! <laughs> little coyote! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, that wins. Little Coyote Growlithe is perfect. I think that that is amazing. And we actually had a Tanzanite and we adopted him out actually. I love it because he is a gold level. He is the child of Amber, uh, which means that he is the grandson of Onyx. Growlithe, grandson of Onyx. 
<laughs> hey! pee pee go welcome! Welcome! <laughs> and yes, Smaggle Daggle, exactly. Welcome to the nest. Welcome to the nest, the dangerous. The welcome. Oh my gosh. So Growlithe, the grandson of Onyx, he has a, a hefty name upon his young paws, but he's going to have to deal with it. Also, our yellow anacondas have gone on to have a bazillion babies again. We are not getting a lot of cleanliness going on with our exhibits lately. So I think we might need to have a dedicated exhibit keeper in just a little bit here. We're going to, we'll look into that in just a bit. All right, but we have new babies. Let me go ahead and take care of the, oh. All right, anybody who is not supposed to be here, get, get yourselves to the trade centers. Um, here we go. And then let me check. Pizza ended pizza and P had more babies. There we go. And alright, we've got dry dry desert. Actually, the easiest way to figure it out is to sort by location when you're doing this many ridiculous uh small exhibits I found. So now what we need to do is we need to take out these two anacondas. That's who's making this unhappy. Okay. Is that everybody? I think so. Let's go to trading. We have a lot of little legs to sell to feed to the pangolins, as we say. Sorry. Sorry, little legs. Pangolins are hungry. All right, there we go. Do we have any more chickens? We don't have any chickens yet. I need to get our strange chickens, the ostriches and the peacocks and flamingos. One day we'll do like a strange chicken um, party. I think that would be really good. But all right, guys, I think we need to get a new zookeeper, somebody to really focus on just the exhibit animals since they have been struggling with cleanliness lately. Uh, oh, and Sapphire, <gasps> you guys, it's almost time. Sapphire and Cole and all of the rest are going to be growing up now. Oh, and Onyx has also left. Oh, I miss Onyx so much. So this is actually kind of a day when we're saying goodbye to a lot of our tigers, which is a little bit hard to do, but it has been an amazing honor to work with them as long as we have. Okay. More grown babies. Oh, which means, hang on, before we have the grown babies. Oh, Geekism, hi! <laughs> hey, I hope you and the family are doing well tonight. Gosh, I was just watching your speed builds of, um, of your new zoo, and I love the theme that you've done, being so respectful of Native American culture, by the way. Guys, if you want to check out like some cool Planet Zoo stuff, which is more speed build based, Geekism does really good work, and he has been doing some great stuff featuring Native American, like Canadian Native American sort of uh, like culture, which I think is fantastic. That's anthropology mixed with our zoology. All right, we're going to go ahead and come on in. Should we get some... We're doing really well on money, so should we release Moonstone to the Wild? And we also have Jade the Second. Should we get money, or should we, relead, uh, should we release Moonstone, Jade, and Quartz to the Wild? Because that would be good. <laughs> good evening to you, too. Oh, I need more water in a minute, guys. Wild release? Get all those points? Okay, we'll release all of them to the wild. So go forth and be happy wild tigers. Quartz. We need to make room before these three get in here. Uh, where's my, my tigers? And let's go ahead and release Moonstone. Hum. And then we're going to go ahead and we will release... I love the rewarding, like, happy little, like, hum. It does every time you release animals to the wild because it just makes you feel like, yeah, I'm doing something good. All right, there we go. So now we need to watch all of our, our tiger cubs as they mature. And then after they, oh, wait, one last picture of the babies playing together. Oh, look at their little stubby legs. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh, look, their mom is swimming in the background. This is so freaking precious. Hang on. 
mom is just like relaxing. She's like, I raised six cubs. I'm pretty sure she raised six cubs. I wish we had a family tree so bad. The conservation credits, Swan Feather, are really important because they're used to buy new animals on the animal market. Uh, we've been buying exhibit animals, which are the small little guys. They just cost cash money. But the animals that are a lot rare are actually going to be on the animal trading mart and they are a lot more expensive for conservation credits. So cash money doesn't matter other than building them exhibits. Okay. Be good, guys. Exactly, White Wolf. May you live long and prosperously and stay away from the humans. That, that's, that's bad news bears. You don't want to mess with the humans. All right. Oh, look at them climb over. All of the little cubs. Oh, are they going to have one more snap, like a little snooze together? <gasps> this is so precious. They're going to have one more cute little snooze together. And if you guys are wondering why I keep hiding the UI, that's because I'm taking a million and a half pictures. I actually want to start sharing like daily pictures of what's going on in our zoos on my Instagram and... Oh, look at them, precious babies. And on my Twitter, that's one of my goals. <gasps> I've never seen the baby yawn like that before. Look at those little chompers. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll miss you guys. Thank you for growing up happy and healthy and being Onyx's last triplet set. They're so freaking cute. Okay, here we go. Amazonite has matured. Fernando the centipede has died of old age. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's sad. All right, let's get these guys boxed up. There's one. There's copper all grown up. There you go, copper boy. All right, and we have a holdout. Sapphire is going to do her best to sleep through this. She does not want to grow up. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Oh, oh, yeah, Fernando did die. Rip, Fernando. Come on, Sapphire. Your mom wants to retire and have, like, the place to herself without six kids to raise. Sapphire. <gasps> Pinesylvania is about to die of old age. Oh, oh, Pinesylvania has died of old age. Oh, rip Pennsylvania. I wish I could do better for our pangolin, but they've been happier since we installed that glass. And we just had more pangolin after all. All right. I know. Rest in peace, Pine. And forgive me, guys. I'm kind of zipping along a little quickly here. Oh my gosh. Sapphire. Has she been like asleep for three months? <laughs> she does not want to grow up. She is like the literal Peter Pan. Of, of our area. I can't believe this. I know. Rest in peace, Pine. We'll name one of the new babies Pinesylvania the third in just a second. I just really... February. Sapphire, honey. Slytherin just had her offspring. <gasps> There's a picture of Sapphire with her mom. If they, like, they're going to fight or else I would let them just, like, mother and daughter have this exhibit. You in the summertime, Space Dorito. Oh, Space Dorito, I'm so happy to see you here. <laughs> oh my gosh, the dangerous road has. Has she been sleeping for three months? Wow, mood. I guess there, at times that is indeed mood. All right. She is the little one who just doesn't want to leave home. Okay, but Slytherin just had her babies. So let's pop up and see if any are albino like mom and dad. So let's find out. And the answer is not yet. So they had two little boys. They are not albino like their dad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and actually remove them now. I know that seems a little odd, but Dry Dry Desert the third. Let's, those are the centipedes. But we're going to go ahead and move out... Dry Dry Desert the third, not King Boo, not Slytherin, but their two sons, just because I want to try to clear it out so that they don't fuss and we can hopefully get our hands on, I'm really hoping to get our hands on some higher quality puff outers for one thing, 
And in fact, let's see, is there a higher quality female that we could replace Slytherin with? Which sounds really bad, but we do want to try to get these albino babies. Because he's my very first albino, so if I could keep him going for like ever, I would be really happy. Okay, no female puff adder. However, I did remember that we have forgotten to give our poor spider a mate. The Brazilian salmon pink, it's still just females. We don't have any males yet. All right. Okay, let's see. And the, the, the dangerous, the genes here, I think, just kind of work like straight. They might be head albino, actually. They might be head albino. We, if we don't see an albino baby from one of their children, we may keep one of his sons or daughters and try breeding them to see if we could end up with baby booze. Little baby boos. All right. Let's continue to watch this kitten for a minute. Sapphire. Honey. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Durian has passed away of old age. Oh my gosh. It has been drama left and right. Okay. Durian. Rest in peace, little guy. Oh, jeez. Somebody collect his body. <gasps> that was the most dramatic death I have ever had. <laughs> he just like, Bleh. and then he fell off a cliff. <laughs> that was the most dramatic I have ever had any of these deaths. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, didn't expect that. All right. Well, while we're in here, Pine Sylvania. Sylvania the third. These are the kinds of names you only inherit when the previous owner of the name has passed on. And then we shall go ahead and name. Oh, thank you so much, Bahan. Thank you. I know for that dramatic death that we just had. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Durian. I shall name one of these babies after you. Uh, let's see. Ping pong, you're here. You're tiny. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and release this little boy to the wild for many points. Oh, actually, he was really healthy. I should have put him on the trade market because people seem to be struggling with healthy babies at the moment. Uh, this little girl is actually infertile, unfortunately. Let's see. Do I have any other pangolins in here at the moment? Oh, wow. I think we have dramatically terrifyingly decrease the number of pangolins very quickly um so i think that this will be this is gonna be durian the third and we're, we're switching genders now wait did we have durian the third pass away oh our giant centipedes have both died no it was just durian the first so we're gonna switch and this is now durian the second wait Wait, whoa, 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 Somebody's giving birth. Princess Pauline! <gasps> Princess Pauline is giving birth to the third gorilla of our troop now, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead. Do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? Let's find out. And what should we name it? Like, those are going to be the important questions. Keeping kind of with our Nintendo or princess theme. Let's figure out what we're going to have. Baby gorilla time! Oh, thank you, Bahan. I was lurking at the commotion was just so much. I just had to give you bits. I know, right? There's so much happening over here. The whole troop is together to support her while she gives birth. I love this. Let's get some more food in here. And I just remembered we did some more research about them. So that we should be able to get them some more toys. Do I have any other research we've done about them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. King Boo? Oh, you guys. We need to have a new keeper of just the exhibits. Hey, Amanda Creasy! Hi! I hope you're having a wonderful evening! We're about to have a baby! We're just, a, like, we're about to have a baby right up in here with Princess Pauline, who has already had one baby. Does she have a scar? Oh, no, that's just her nose. I was worried she'd been in a fight in her previous home. All right, Princess Pauline. We've got Princess Peach, and we have Diddy Kong. Offspring imminent. Is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? Mario? <laughs> okay, if it's a boy, we'll name him Mario. <laughs> or Luigi, the better brother. 
<laughs> if it's a girl Zelda, it's Zelda! Here we are, guys. A little girl who is going to be extremely long-lived. She's pretty fertile. She gets a little sicky, sickly. But may I present to all of you Zelda. We'll just, we'll start. If it's, if it's the younger generation. <gasps> Look at the first thing she's doing. She's climbing the tamarind tree. Oh my gosh. I love it when they climb the tamarind trees. The tamarind trees are some of my favorite. Look at that. The very first thing that adventurous little Zelda does is climb the tamarind tree. Another little princess for our group. I love it. You get the name princess, uh, the title, if you're one of the older females. Um, but everybody else, all the kids just get normal names. I think I named Princess Peach, Princess Peach. But let's see, where is she? Uh, she can keep it because she's gold. <laughs> all right, there. Look at this, guys. I love it. We have done so much with this already. Uh, I want to try to release at least one gorilla tonight, which would be Diddy Kong when he ages up. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous that, like, where is he? There he is. There's Diddy Kong. So here he is. And I think he ages up at, like, four or older. So we, we're going to have to speed things along quite a bit. Mechanic research is done. But the good news is, yay! Uh, research these climbing facilities for me, then. And Jane, if you have extra time... Let's get our mechanics researching. We probably don't need as many of them as we have soon. Oh, geez. And now everybody just wants to spend time up top. They don't want to get down here and watch the gorillas. So I might need to move some of these speakers <laughs> so they can actually reach people on the... Here, I'm going to move these so they can reach people who are up. There we go. And let's get another one right over here so that people will have to listen to that guy yammer on. Yeah, they like the better view up here. Okay. Protesters have arrived? What over this time? For King Boo? Oh, that's right. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get a new zookeeper whose only job is going to be looking after the exhibits all over the zoo. Let's make his work zone before we do that. So give me just a second, friends. New work zone! Exhibit! Keeper hut. The bat cave. He needs to go to the bat mobile, which we made in the bat cave earlier, so that he can rest. And then we're going to tackle all of the exhibits that we have. And this guy is just going to be dedicated to exhibits. And hopefully that will help. So this is going to be exhibit specialist. Okay. Okay. And then let's actually add into that work zone. If he happens to be way over here, he can come over to this staff room. Yeah, so he can do either staff room, whatever he needs, as long as he can reach all of the exhibits. Um, and then we'll come in. And what, what should we name the keeper of King Boo's facility? Also, child, please, you look a little mad, I'll admit, but you're kind of walking into the, um, the exhibit there. Hmm. Well, sorry, I can't help you with that, son. All right, Keeper. Bowser? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I love it. This is going to be uh, King Boo's, King Boo's uh, Keeper Bowser. There we go, to make it nice and complicated. There we go, friend. Your only job is to take care of the exhibits. Boozer. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. This is gonna be Bowser. He's gonna be in charge of so many of the exhibits here in Nintendo Land, Nintendo Zoo. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and move this thing since people keep walking into it. Because, whatever. Yeah, there. All right. So, phew. Okay, I think things are going really well. Let's give the gorillas some, some new toys to play with if we have any. And then... I just want to try to get at least one of the gorillas released tonight because we haven't done anything to participate in the challenge. Even though we've done all of this extra stuff to like build the zoo and try to take care of it. And we have released so many tigers. 
We've been helping a lot of our animals and we've been helping the guests, but we haven't re like gorillas take a long time to grow up, okay? Okay, Western Lowland Gorilla. <gasps> we have new toys! Okay, guys, what do you think we should give them? Should we give them... There's climbable logs, as usual, which they already have. They have a block of ice. They have a block of frozen fruit. So, do you think we should give them the block of ice or the block of frozen fruit? And then who needs help? Oh, it's the puff adders again. We'll take care of the puff adders. A popsicle! Okay, we'll give them the popsicle. It's it's ice either way. And this way, it'll be fun food that hopefully the babies will enjoy eating too. We'll put a couple of them over here. Whoops! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Did not mean to accidentally put one of, like, Princess Fiona in storage. There we go. And let's add in some more balls, just in case that helps out. We did, did we just learn more about them? Yes, we just learned more about them! Did we legitimately just unlock a new toy of some kind? No. Fooey. <laughs> That's okay. Oh! Uh, don't let me stuck. That would be really cool, actually. I'll see if I can approve that. I'm still kind of new to watching over the Twitch stuff myself, so if I can, that would be really awesome. Okay, and now that feeding station can't be reached. Blah, 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 blah. Fine. Like, we can't have the cool block of ice up there. We'll have- it. we'll go ahead and move it down over here to try to encourage them to come play over here. And thank you, Gentleman New. Yeah, I'll call out for names when we need the names. Oh, I almost forgot about our banana, you guys. We need to remember the bananas. What am I doing? Okay, let's try building a banana crate before we have to, like, wrap up for the night. So let me put the bananas down there. And then we are going to look for some sort of crate or a barrel. <gasps> there's these tea crates. Okay, so we do have tea crates. Please tell me there's a barrel. Oh, come on. Or something we could use like a barrel. Okay, there's a there's a pot. Oh, this is close. This is close. I think this pot will do. I think that pot will do. There's also this basket right over here. Oh, hey! Welcome, mine! Welcome, welcome to the adventures! We are currently about to build a very, very important new piece. Okay, there's a sack. So we could do a sack of bananas. That is also a possibility. There's a crate of bananas right there. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let's take this crate. And let's actually flip the crate on its back. Like so. And then let's go ahead and raise it up a little. Okay, bear with me. And keep an eye on the alerts if you could. Oh, the puff outers need taken care of. All right, all right. Let's go slow for just a second. Ah! So much noise. Uh, and then puff outers, puff outers, and the dry, dry deserts need maintenance. Dry, dry desert. Anybody who is not pokey or goby needs to scooch it out of here. And anybody who is not silver puff or Sahara needs to scooch it out of there. Holy canoodles, like we just had a lot. <gasps> Look at all these puff adders. <laughs> that is a pretty, pretty nice $10,000. That's going to be enough to help me build my banana crate. I know, I know. Isn't this amazing? The dangerous. This is just so amazing. I love how customizable we can make this. So now we can come down and I can start adding in bananas. And let's put this in here. And I can actually flip it. So we're going to make a banana crate for Donkey Kong. Because this has to happen. And then one of the tricks I learned recently... Where's banana? Okay, that's actually going to be in construction. Banana, please. We should make like a cool little trade center at some point in the future. Alright. Come on in. All right, I think we need to like, let's flip these bananas, people. 
Was that a gorilla? Okay, and one of the tricks I learned is that once you have an item down... Let me see if I can pull this off. So once we have placed that item, if I hit and we're in the X, like the detail mode, if I hit the bananas again, boom! Now we already have the bananas in the exact same position, ready to go. Uh, so that's just a helpful tip that took me forever to figure out when I was doing our daily episodes. But it really speeds things up when you're doing these kinds of like meticulous detail decorations. So again, you want to have the item down. Whoops. And then <laughs> uh, it will multiply if you're doing detail work. I think I put down too many. I'm going to have to play with that. All right, flip, flip, flip. This is bananas. Oh, hey! Come on! Welcome! Welcome to the adventures! We are piling a bunch of bananas into a crate so that we can try to have our boy Donkey Kong be really happy. All right, let me see if I can scoot that over a little. Nice, nice. Okay. And then let me grab these bananas back here. All right. Hang in there, guys. This is the kind of like detail, detail stuff. You can't really rush. <gasps> but I could put our banana crate on the, on the Steam Workshop to share with all of you. <laughs> and then if you too want Donkey Kong's banana crate, you could have Donkey Kong's banana crate. What do you think about that? That would be really fun. Okay, let's see if I can get this down and down. Also, look at the money we are raking in. I am telling you guys, it is all about educating people. <gasps> look at our banana crate! I love it! So that's that kind of banana crate. I kind of want to see what it would look like if we just tried to turn this into the banana crate. Alright, let's flip this. I'm going to speed things up in just a second. There. So that we can try to get Diddy Kong released into the wild. Yeah, I'll see if I can pull that off so that you guys would be able to use it and then you wouldn't have to like go through all of the little meticulous details of building it. <laughs> oh, it did look like some of them were hanging off the side of the basket. You're right. Okay, we should definitely edit this. Okay, edit. There we go. Whoops. Okay. I hear people dropping money into into our donation boxes, so that makes me happy. The little jingle jingle of the coins. It does look like they're hanging off the basket rather than clipping through it. That is so cool. We'll leave some of those. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Okay, construction. Ah, no, 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 I don't want to duplicate. I want to come into construction. I want to hit X to edit. Then go into construction. Haha! -ha! And now the bananas will stay where they need to be. I didn't play Planet Coaster, so all of these controls are still awkwardly being learned by me, but we're getting there. All right, let's flip this puppy. Flip this banana stand. Almost, almost. Down a little. Okay. Uh, let's get one more in. Maybe inside, inside. So it kind of fills in the bottom there. Hmm. Let's flip it. And over. Nobody has been having babies for a hot minute, so I think we're okay to do this. Oh, come on. That's really fun. It does make it look like it's sticking over the edges. All right, you guys, look at that! May I present to you DK's Banana Crate and Barrel. I am so tickled that we were able to make that. That was so fun. The customization that you can do in this is beyond ridiculous. It's amazing. All right, let's get this little pile of bananas down on the edge there. Boom. Bananas. I know, we should put some on the ground, too, to spill out on the ground like that. That's a good idea. Let's see. 
It sounds like Ruby is enjoying herself, no longer having to watch after a million and a half babies down there. All right, that good? That is so cool. All right, and now what we can actually do is we can come on in and if we want, we can select everything here. I think that's everything. And we can go ahead and merge it into a group. And now we can go ahead and save this as a blueprint. <gasps> My banana barrel! <gasps> no, 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 no. I have one more thing. Okay, okay. I want, I love this banana barrel, but I know it's going to make it perfect. I know it is going to make it a thousand percent perfect. You guys, let's see if we can do this. Okay. There's one more step. There's one more step that would just cinch this. Oh, it's too big. Sorry, that was loud. I was, ah, we were so close. I was gonna put the D and then I was gonna put the K. But it's too big. <laughs> oh. Do they come smaller? They don't. That would have been so perfect. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to go ahead and we will um, have to make like a big giant crate, like a joke kind of huge crate to put in front of DK's exhibit. And we'll do that in the future. Use signs? Wait, 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 there's signs? There's flags. Wait a second, there's signs? Speak to me, friend. What are signs? What do signs do? Wait, I can... Okay, that's huge. That's not so huge. Are there signs I can, like, write on? Are you telling me I can write on these? You have intrigued me. Do they come any smaller? Are these, are these, are, are they like this big? Are all of them this big? Okay, signs that say editable. <gasps> okay, okay, theme, theme, material, filters, brand, theme. Okay, edit, edit editable text. Oh, I, there is a tag that says editable text. <gasps> okay. Oh, that one's tiny. This one's tiny. That's, that's a possibility. That one's huge. Hmm. 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 Okay. I don't think we can do it with the signs. I think the signs are gigantic. Um, but we can go ahead and put down a sign like this. There we go. And I can put... DK. Hang on one second. Where does it say DK? If I put the sign text. DK. Oh! <gasps> you guys, that's so cool! Look at this! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for letting me know about the freaking signs. I didn't know, and maybe we won't be able to, like, use it on the actual barrels, but this is perfect. This is so freaking perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh, look at all the people. Holy cow. We should be getting some of their money somehow. Uh, all right, so that's fantastic. And now we actually have a barrel that I need to combine into a grouping again. I think I actually unfortunately took it out of being a grouping, which is not what I wanted. There we go. I want to merge that into a group. I want to save this as a blueprint. We're going to go ahead and save it. This is going to be DK's uh, banana, banana barrel. A simple barrel. Hey, Edie Forever, welcome, welcome to the adventures. So this is going to be DK's barrel of laughs and bananas. I love it. And we're gonna put this as little other scenery. Create a blueprint. Let it lag for a second as it panics. 
And then we're going to go ahead and make a barrel. So merge this together, save item as blueprint. And this is going to be DK's uh, crate. Wait, are we missing a banana? We're missing some bananas. I'm glad I caught that. Come on. Hmm. Hello, Glitches Red. Welcome, welcome to the adventures. I'm trying to select my bananas. <laughs> Don't mind me. That is, there's more than three bananas in here. Oh, that's right. Merge into group. There we go. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. All right. Is that everybody? Yes, that is everybody. All right. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to move this. Oh, no, 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 no. I missed a banana. I'm glad I double checked. Sometimes it's very interesting the way that this doesn't quite select everything. We did it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and save this. <laughs> DK's pile of bananas. Somehow the crate got smashed. Uh, sometimes all you can do is laugh when you don't quite pull things off the way that you were trying. DK likes to smash the crates. What can I say? Merge again. Here we go. Finally, DK's crate of bananas. A crate full of delicious potassium. There we go. And scenery. Okay, now that we have that, friends, it is time to go ahead and since we're making money on our entire area, just speed things up a little bit more so that we can get Diddy Kong out of here. Let's find out. Is anybody pregnant right now? Nobody is currently pregnant. Diddy Kong, I, I can't believe we haven't released a single baby, but we have majorly, majorly improved what we have done with all of this. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic about everything. We're going to go ahead and do some decorating while we speed up and just sort of let life happen. And we'll see if we can manage to get Diddy to the point where we feel comfortable releasing him to the wild. I don't know if we will. And I hate to rush it with the little guy. But at the same time... Oh, let's add in another one of these African info centers because this is just such an amazing build. And if people are going to be out in the rain... They might appreciate. Is that an info center right here, though? Yes, but it doesn't have a vendor at it. Uh huh. That's not good when it's raining. All right, let's add in another vendor. We'll we'll name him later. There we go. See people lining up to be able to buy stuff. <laughs> yes, Zelda. This is live right now. Probably not for much longer though, guys, because we have gone a lot longer than I usually have the energy to. Uh, I think I'm just so excited, but we're, we'll see if we can get DK to grow up. And if he just won't, we'll figure it out. And plus I need some water. And I have not been able to get to my water since I ran out, unfortunately. All right. In fact, you guys, I'm gonna grab some water really quickly. It's just right over there. Keep an eye on everything for just a second. <clears throat> yeah. I forgot to fill up my usual gigantic things of waters. All right. Okay. Little guy, are you going to grow up or grow up? Oh, here comes more rain. All right, let's get another info center. Might as well. I like these things. They're really cool looking. So we'll get another info center over here. We should get some African toilets as well. Oh, why is this not connected? There we go. And let's get another vendor. There. 
and people should be coming over to get out of the rain. And we'll, we'll take care of a few things while we wait. Slytherin is expecting babies. Sweet. And let's actually train our caretakers. Oh, we only have two caretakers? Okay, we're going to hire two more caretakers really quickly. Because I think our zoo has high amounts of litter. Noodles is hungry. Why don't I have any keepers over here? Okay, because my staff is, like, resting. But he's on his way now, and he has food. Oh, Quinn Lively! What inspired me to play games and make series like Planet Zoo? I freaking love the natural world. I always, always have. Um, ever since I was little, I have just always... I remember sitting in the room, like my parents' living room, when I was probably three. I don't have very many memories from my childhood, unfortunately, but that's a really strong one I have. Uh, and I remember, oh my gosh, we've got some really healthy animals. Uh, reading books from the World Wildlife Foundation with the little panda logo on the back. And those books just meant so much to me growing up. Like they had a really big impact on just thinking that the whole world was so beautiful. I also went, P past is there, so we'll leave a mail. Uh, I also went to a school. Oh, my voice is going. <clears throat> but I also attended a public elementary school in Texas that was really fantastic about educating people about the natural world. They were really, really good about it. Uh, we had people come in to do demonstrations all the time with animal ambassadors. We raised money every year for helping to save the rainforest. Uh, the school was a big public elementary, but the murals on the walls were painted with pandas. I think that all of those early education things really had a huge influence on me. And then, you know, when I became interested in... Uh, like video games, it just was natural that I would want to play video games that had to do with animals. And then eventually I got the opportunity to start making YouTube videos because I literally got tired of typing up all of the stories for my Sims. <laughs> I would get really, really tired from typing the stories for my Sims up by hand for Tumblr. And then somebody on Tumblr one day had videos of them speaking their stories in this thing called a Let's Play that they decided to make instead of typing their stories out. And that was so much more time efficient. <laughs> so that's how I actually, <gasps> that's how I actually got into it. And, and just falling in love with animals, falling in love with video games and storytelling, and then finding that speaking is a much faster medium than typing your stories. And friends, did you just see what I saw? Hang on, hang on. We need to get into Dry Dry Desert the Third. So they're in stay. We're going to clear out all the other babies. But you guys, we've got... A, a zookeeper who desperately needs to get over here and clean this freaking thing up. Oh my gosh. But we have got... Sassafras! Yes, we have got another one! What should we go ahead and name this albino baby? And Antarctica! Her name was going to be Antarctica. I remember now. Oh gosh. Oh, was Chips in there? Hey, darling! I'm almost done. I'm going to do a three hour stream tonight. So another like 15, 20 minutes uh, so that we can try. Oh, and at least sleep well, sleep well. So that we can try to get Diddy Kong sent out. I'm This challenge I might not be able to do this week because this is going to take some effort for streaming tomorrow. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Dinner is fantastic, by the way. Dinner is fantastic. Everybody really liked seeing it. All right. So let's come in here. Oh, hey, Warcraft Admirer 33, welcome. <laughs> I'm very excited that you're here to join us. Just as we name our new baby theme or male, it's a boy again. Should we name him Greenland or Iceland? <laughs> what do you guys think about naming him Iceland? Because, you know, he's from a bunch of puff adders who jokingly are named like Gobi and Sahara after the deserts. I know, we need an army of ghost noodles. Iceland? Yeah. Okay, he's going to be Iceland. There we go, guys. Let's get Iceland a new exhibit. 
So we're going to add Dry Dry Desert the third or the fourth. How about just like right over here since we're already, we're kind of on a roll. And we'll add in another little spot right here. And then we'll move him over in just a second. We'll connect these paths. Hmm. Okay, we will connect these paths, I said. There. So that people can get around here easier. We'll fill all this up with plants so it won't look nearly so bad. And eventually we'll move, like, everybody around. But we have just... Oh, she just had more babies. <laughs> I legitimately didn't even have time to do anything about that. Where is the zookeeper who's supposed to be taking care of them? Let's find that zookeeper because this is getting kind of... Call keeper. Is the keeper on the way? I think we might need another keeper. We'll have to see. Oh, the work zones! Thank you, thank you! You guys are fantastic at helping me remember these work zones. Alright, and yeah, we'll keep going for another 20 minutes tonight. I'm I'm pretty tuckered myself, but I think it'll be worth it. Alright, who's where's our keeper? There's Bowser. He's resting. <gasps> He's resting! Oh my gosh, I have forgotten! You guys! Have I showed you this yet? If you go to the staff room, did I show you guys the staff perks? I don't think I showed you guys the staff perks before. So you can actually come in here and you can change your staff perks and they change year to year, but you can actually come in and if you click on the staff room and then you come over to the perks, then you can come and change the different perks that they can have to make them happier. So you can give them staff health care so that they have more resistance to being overworked so they won't feel so overworked. You can give them a social club so they gain happiness faster. You can provide learning resources so they're easier to train. You can do a security office for your secure, like your, your guards, your security guards, and they will be able to detect people better because they'll be trained a little bit better at it. You can do a PR course where the vendors will become happier to interact with the guests and the guests will be happier. And then you can do a rec room where they recover energy faster. I know, right, Angel Wings? I know, this is so cool. And it took me forever to figure it out. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I'm so glad Slade enjoys watching the, the videos with you, Glitches Red. That's so cool. I know, this is this is really, really cool. And it helps a lot. It costs a little bit of money, but it's so worth it. It's like, what, three cockroaches? Pfft, we can manage that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually sell this staff room, though. <laughs> Which sounds terrible, but we're going to buy a bigger one. Let's be a little bit more effective about this, eh? All right. So let's grab a staff room. Let's do... This is the... That's the Indian staff room. <gasps> I love this! You guys, I want to do the African origin staff room. Look at how cute that is. I've gone totally for the Asian theme over in our Zudesia Zoo that we do daily episodes in. I want to do maybe an African theme over here in our pixel biology. Large staff room with water treatment transformer. I don't need that one. What I need is this one where our staff can come on in. They can get some rest and they can also look at how nice that is. I love that. Should we go ahead and leave it here or are our guests going to complain about its existence? They will not complain about its existence over there. So that should be okay. Let's add in staff paths. There we go. And we'll connect all these up. We need to add more trees everywhere. All right, let's add this into the work zone. And let's actually go swap out the Batmobile as well. We have enough money perk right now that I think that'll really help us. Um, and I think we should go ahead and train up all of our caretakers. It's cheaper to train them at some point than it is to actually start hiring new ones. Uh, and all of our... We're going to train up King Boo, a.k.a. Bowser, the exhibit specialist. I really hope we won't regret training all those people, but it's really important to do. And you can see the staff rooms. Oh, we have that many staff rooms? Really? Oh, and you can change all of the perks for the staff rooms from here? I had no idea. We do have staff rooms inside of the huge staff building. I completely forgot about that. 
And I don't think that they can ever... Can they reach them? Actually, I've seen some people reach them. Huh. I totally forgot that we actually have staff rooms. I have never, I've never noticed this tab before, and I come here every time we make work zones. We're learning a lot of things, guys. <laughs> learning a lot of things. Um, wow. Efficient low demand. Only a few staff members access this room. I should probably put the old one back. I feel really bad, but we should probably put the old one back if it actually has low demand. Um, because that's expensive to maintain. Yeah, it has low demand. <laughs> we'll replace it with a nicer looking one eventually. Um, but we'll go ahead and add in, let's do energy faster. So let's make everything a rec room, which adds, I think it actually adds like a game station in there. So people will like chill and relax. That is so cool. Yeah, there's so many things. And the Steam Workshop makes the game so much less frustrating sometimes because you can just straight up get something nice looking. All right, mechanic research is complete. There we go. We've researched drink shops. Vet research is complete. Yay, and we know more about the gorillas. Let's see if we can actually get our awesome gorillas a new toy then. Doesn't look like we have any new toys, unfortunately. We do have a lot of litter, so I think we might start going around and putting down um, things to try to prevent litter. Let's also come over. Where are my blueprints? My blueprints. And I want to have the bananas for not the pile of bananas, but the barrel of bananas. And we're going to add in the banana barrel in a few spaces because I think that would be fun. And while it's dark, let's put in some lights. One of my favorite things to do while it rains is actually to come in here and add in some lights. And we have this African lamp post. So there's a couple. Oh, <gasps> what? Guys, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my gosh. So here are the two African lamp posts. Which one do you guys like the most? I like the one that has the fire. There are trash and recycling bins. I just haven't purchased them. So we're going to work on that. Okay, let's do fire. We're, we'll add in the fire. I feel like red from our the new, the new mage we have in our Wilder Myth series, which is... Oh my gosh, I love Wilder Myth, by the way. His name's Red, and he loves being a pyromaniac. And I feel like him right now. Add the fire! <laughs> Alright, let's see. We'll get a few more of these. Kind of tucked along the side. One next to the DK thing. For sure. That's so cool. Yeah, I actually like it when it becomes night sometimes. Because I use it as an excuse to finally start working on my lighting. So that's fun. The fire is definitely more Donkey Kong. I agree. All right, let's come over to blueprints and we'll add in some more of our decorative barrels. Very nice. I just want to like duplicate them and sprinkle them all over the place. And then we'll add in some, I think this path needs to be bigger because it gets congested all the time. Okay, so path, can I make this an eight wide? This is going to suck because, well, let's wait for this group of people to go by. Okay, and then jump in here. Can I open this up? Oh, that actually kind of worked. Oh, it's a miracle. Sweet. People I think are still going to be mad about it for a split second. Sweet. All right, let's add in some bins while we wait. Because we're still just kind of waiting for... Mechanic research done. Let's call a mechanic to come fix the toilet. Research done. Shelters and climbing. So we've gained a little bit in shelters and climbing. All right. And we'll go ahead. Multiple animals have low welfare. Dry, dry desert the second. Because they're probably having a million babies. 
So we'll do normal speed and take care of those. All right. Dry dry desert. Time to collect up our snakes. I hope you guys are ready to round up some snakes, friends. Gobi and Pokey. You two are the only ones who need to be in here. And then Neem, you shouldn't be in there, but such is life. Uh, and we'll move Iceland. I actually forgot we needed to move Iceland. And that poor spider still doesn't have a mate, but such is life at times. All right, let's get, let's sell all these puff adders. Holy cow, there's so many of them. Oh, that's so worth it. <laughs> that is so immensely worth it. All right, we'll trade all these ones. And then we'll give this new puff adder, we will name her Antarctica. Or actually, we'll name her after, oh, how about Koopa? Let's name this puff adder Koopa. And let's actually put her and I forgot to put Iceland in this exhibit together. So what do you guys think about naming her Koopa? A slither boy. So many danger noodles. I know, right? It's just a big pile of danger noodles. All right. Koopa? Yeah, we'll name her Koopa. I love how we're going to start doing Nintendo. That's definitely going to be a running theme for like months. So be ready for that. Eventually, just think about it. It'll be so amazing to pull back and to look over. Why is this not getting clean? Do I need two keepers on this? We'll have to see. Okay, come on, Iceland. Let's go ahead and move you over here, buddy. There we go. And then we have... <gasps> Just a big handful of... It's Chips! Chips is actually visiting! I didn't know that they would actually have some of... This is so cool. What a wonderful night this has been, guys. <gasps> Period! Just as I was saying, what a wonderful night it's been. Period's dying of old age. <laughs> but my chips is in... Okay, hang on. I'm gonna try tagging him. Hey, you're in the stream right now. Check it out. What do you think? Okay, I'll see if I can get his attention. He might be shooting things to pieces right now. Uh, in one of his pew 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 games, so we'll have to see. Uh, but that's really sad that we're about to lose Periot. She got some time to retire after having that many babies. Oh, hey, yeah, you're literally already here. <laughs> Darling, check this out. That's so funny. This is, again, nothing like what Chips looks like to the zeroth degree. Uh, I think that, Darling, did you even, like, customize your avatar? Uh, I don't, I don't know, but that is him. So that is really cool. Uh, what is really sad is that Periot is about to pass away of old age, and we never added in Onyx's Onyx Fall. Okay, we need to add in another cave. In fact, we might make a cool, like, walkthrough with these caves where people can pop out the other side. Um, here, we're gonna put this cave over here, and we might even put a little shop down here. Because I want Onyx and Periot to actually have their spaces close together. So I think I'm gonna put, like... Onyx's cave right here. Or Periot's. I'm going to put Periot's cave right here. And then we'll put a shop inside of it later. So this is going to be Periot's tiger cave. And then we're going to put down, because this is how we memorialize the animals who have been part of our amazing breeding centers and who have become part of our lives. Uh, and then I'm going to put down Onyx's cave right next to her. And we'll put a couple shops in here in just a little bit. Maybe have like a little area where people can sit and rest and eat uh, before they move on to hopefully investigate where we'll put the KR Cool at some point. And this is going to be Onyx's tiger cave. There we go. Hey, Quinley! The theme of the zoo is kind of random at the moment, but we're actually going with Nintendo Zoo. So that's what we're working on is Nintendo, and this is also the zoo where we focus on doing the weekly events. So right now, Periot, 17 years. She lived a really wonderful life, you guys. 
Oh, that's really hard. Every time. We'll bring one of her children in here and we'll let one of her children maybe live out their lives and be admired by everyone. Or we might... I mean, because I think that's my favorite tiger exhibit down there. So, oh, that's always super hard. Call mechanic. We have high amounts of litter. Rest in peace, Periot. All right, power is done being researched. Let's go ahead and do staff facilities again. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to miss Periot a lot. What do you guys think? Do you think we should move the tigers in here? Or do you think we should... I, I kind of want to move all of the tigers out of here eventually. We have our little tiger cubbies over here. So we have Amber, Ash, Growlithe, and Alina over here. And then down here, we have Ruby, who is out and about. Ruby, how you doing? She is getting old, too. So I think I actually want to maybe move the mama tiger out of here and move her and her babies down into the little tiger haven. Because I think that would be really good. Yeah, if we're going to keep any of the tiger areas, I agree. I think we should keep the tiger pit because it, it's been such a wonderful place for the tigers. So we'll do that. All right. And I can't believe Chips is visiting. Yeah, we'll do that. So let's go ahead and move mom and baby tigers. And we'll leave their dad, Ash, over there. So Amber, we're going to move you, Growlithe, and Alina over to the Sunken Tiger Temple. There we go. All right, so guys, let's come down and check on our boy. Where is he? Diddy Kong. Is he ever going to age up? He is five years old. I think that this has actually turned out to be vastly harder than I thought because gorillas take so long to age. That's one of the reasons I'm glad we're keeping this zoo on a little bit on the smaller side because I feel like you definitely want to be careful if you get your zoo too big and you need to speed through to do these challenges. Um, and so far, no new babies waiting in the gorilla habitat, but I think we can actually give them better quality food now. And I, better quality food, I find, really helps with being able to assist them with the idea of having more kids. Uh, let's see. I definitely want to get better food in here so nobody gets hungry. Okay. Lots of people. I know. I'm getting sleepy, too. We're in the... Uh, we'll give it a couple more minutes, but I actually think that little Diddy Kong... Oh, did you see him booking over here? Mechanic research done. Let me check on what's going on. All right, drink shops. And the good news is, guys, that we are really rolling in the money now. I was really worried because we were not doing well with funds, and now we're doing a lot better. All right, Diddy Kong, <laughs> I think that he's going to age up, like, close to 10. And that's going to be a long, hard minute before we have that happen. Oh, some tiger names. Signs of the tiger names on the caves would be cool. That would be cool, Crisis Wolf. We might look into that for sure. At this moment, I think... Do we have any more, like, gorilla toys? Because they really want more toys. They're really happy with a lot of their stuff, but the gorillas really want more... <gasps> toys! We have bobbin enrichment for them now, guys! Oh my gosh, and a suspended forging toy that we could use for them in the future. And here's a new climbing piece I want to put like over and under next to their forging spot. That would be really good for them. Did that take care of their toy need? Nope. They're very curious little ones. Slytherin is expecting more offspring. All right, let's put the bobbin toy maybe over here. So people can see them come to this side for more toys on occasion. The bobbin enrichment right here. And then if I add two of them, does that help? Nope. It, they're bored of it if it's the same thing. So now they have the bobbin enrichment. But they really need a lot more toys to make sure that they are well taken care of. And Nazuma's ghost! Hello, hello! Welcome to the adventures! Wait, tiger's fighting? Ah! Thank you guys! 
more puff adders, suspended foraging, tigers about to mature, tigers fighting. Ah, the sunken tiger cubs literally just grew up on me. Okay, well, let's go ahead and people stop. Everybody is like watching the tiger fight now. How? And that's not good. All right, let's come on in. All right, so I think the last order of business for the day, friends, is actually going to be sorting out our tigers. Amber, the adventurous, has her cubs. They have grown up. Alina, into, into the, the crate you go. We're going to come over. <gasps> Growlithe, he's injured. All right, we're going to go ahead and call a vet to come take care of Growlithe. And then where is his brother? Oh, no, it was just those two. Okay. Alina, off you go. Let's go ahead and get Growlithe healed up. And let's figure out what to do with all of the tigers that we currently have. Sapphire, pretty low stats. Should we go ahead and release her to the wild, friends? Thank you for letting me know the tigers were fighting. Ooh, Northheart! I hope your pie was good. I love the pie book you got us, by the way. We use it all the time, and we've shared it with so many of our friends now. We actually just had a friend who was asking for a vegan pie that could win a contest that he was joining. He needed a vegan gluten-free pie. And whew, it felt really awesome to be able to whip out the pie book and be like, have you heard of the mint chocolate grasshopper pie? We never made it because it has grasshopper in it. And we thought, you know, vegan pies don't have grasshoppers. Turns out it's just green and delicious. Uh, so, all right, we're going to go ahead and release, release to the wild. Dun, dun. And then, was he added back in? There's Amber the Adventurous. Growlithe, where are you, buddy? Okay, he's getting picked up. Because he is wounded. Serious injury discovered. Call the vet. Okay, Growlithe is going in. He's getting taken care of by the vet. Alright, Copper, we're going to go ahead and release you to the wild too, boy. And then, what do we have left? Alright, and then Alina and Amazonite. Amazonite. I think we should go ahead... We could probably keep Alina uh, for potential breeding. She has really good fertility. But Amazonite, we're going to go ahead and we are going to release him to the wild too. There we go. All right, guys. Very last thing we're going to do. And oh, and the pair of Frangipan. I love the pair of Frangipan as well. That is really fantastic. Oh, the, the Puff Adders have had more babies. Do you? Oh, I see another albino baby. Do we have Antarctica? Are we going to finish this off? Not celebrating maybe the very slow, slow growth of our wonderful gorillas. But are we going to actually have another? Oh, another male. Should we name him like Little Boo or something? I can't believe that. We have actually ended up with another male albino, uh, which is very, very exciting. So we'll leave this pregnant female in here. Uh, Dry Dry Desert the third, King Boo in Iceland. Oh, geez. Uh, let's see. Gobi, you need to stay there. I need to start giving them all their little markers again to make sure that I don't move the ones I'm not supposed to. All right, did that? There we go. That cleared out a whole bunch of them. Little Boo, Casper. Okay, Casper would be an adorable name. And you know what? It's the name of a ghost. So I'm, I'm totally... Oh, Hufflepuff, Prince Boo. Casper, I think we're going to go with Casper this time. And we'll have more. Don't worry, guys. We're going to have so many of these little noodles who are going to be our little albino noodles. We're going to keep them going. Keep the lineage strong. All right, let's go ahead and release all these ones to the wild. And all right, so let's go play with our gorillas for just another moment, friends. And wait for our tiger to be released. Look at baby. There's Princess Peach visiting. Oh! <gasps> Oh, did you see her do a couple little punches? She's playing with mom. That is so precious. And Diddy Kong is almost old enough to be released. But we're gonna... Oh, 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 oh. I love it. They're so cute. We will spend some time with them next time, friends. Uh, finally, let's make sure that we get Growlithe sent off to there. All right, well, this has been a very successful day. If you ask me, we have drastically changed everything that we have got going on in the zoo. We had a fantastic arrival of so many little eggs into our nest, which is, thank you guys so much. And we have got uh, the gorillas at least working on something. Definitely a lot more to do, but I feel like we're doing fantastic.
and it's just gonna get better from here. This is the richest I've ever seen any of my zoos. Yes. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm planning on streaming at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, hopefully to at least make a couple headways into releasing gorillas. This is proving to be harder than I thought. So we might actually start retrofitting one of the other tiger exhibits now that our tigers are aging up and out into another gorilla exhibit. So we can try to get more babies born and speed things along since this is our special challenge zoo where we alter the landscape of what we have have to fit that so thank you guys have a wonderful time good night everybody thank you so much we had such an amazing time oh i can't wait to see what we do tomorrow so good night guys have a wonderful evening and a great start to your weekend Bye.